What's up, guys? How you doing? This is Urban Grind TV, and I'm Stephanie Marie, your BFF, and I'm here with Chicago's very own Chicago MC and hip hop pioneer, Kingdom Rock. Kingdom Rock, say hello to your peoples out there. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? My name is Kingdom Rock, and I'm y'all friend. Love y'all. No, I'm just tripping. <laughs> What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? What's up, Kingdom Rock? I mean, owner of the Chicago Hip Hop Heritage Museum. One of the partners at the Chicago Hip Hop Heritage Museum. I consider us to be the A, B, and C. Artistic, Daryl Roberts is my partner, and Brian B. Gorman, DJ B. Gorman, and then C. Kingdom Rock Sanders is me. And so that's your A, B, and C okay. of Chicago Hip Hop Heritage Museum. Quite the and equation. Then, yeah, and then we also have a helper by the name of Dante, so he's the A, B, C, and the D. So, yeah, but the three partners are me, Artistic, and Brian. Awesome. Shout out to Artistic and Brian. Yes. <laughs> so don't say I didn't mention y'all. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to make sure that my partners get their credit as well. And so, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us a little bit more about the Chicago Heritage, Hip Hop Heritage Museum. I mean, what can we expect to see when we go there? Well, what we did at the Chicago Hip Hop Heritage Museum this year is we tried to honor the 50 years of hip hop. And so each room is dedicated to a decade in Chicago hip hop. So there's the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and then we got a room upstairs that we dedicated to the 2000s all the way up to today. So that's the 2020, 2024 or whatever. So yeah, so that's what we did this year. And normally we, uh, we only cater to Chicago hip hop. That's what you'll find out in our museum. We support Chicago hip hop because nobody else supports us. So. Amazing, yeah, that sounds great. I mean, and I hear you change it every year, is that true? Like you guys change it up? So the first year we only, we started the museum in honor of Hip Hop Heritage Month. So Mayor Daly signed a, a resolution with the, with the help of Walter Burnett, Amina Hawkins, and TJ Crawford, and another group of delegation of artists from Chicago to make July Hip Hop Heritage Month in June, July of 2003. So it's been 20 years of Hip Hop Heritage Month. And so after COVID was over, me and my partner and artistic came together to decide what we wanted to do for Hip Hop Heritage Month in 2021. And we wanted to do a pop-up museum for Chicago Hip Hop Heritage. And so we acknowledged as many artists as we could in Chicago Hip Hop with the stuff that we had in our own personal archives. Mm -hmm. And we got a few donations from other artists in Chicago that had some pieces. And we displayed them in the museum for that month. When the month was over, we was like, enough people hadn't seen it let's keep it up for the summer so when the summer was over we were still not ready to to break it down yeah. and we like let's keep it for the end of the year and by the end of the year we decided that we were going to make it the chicago hip-hop heritage museum awesome. and so chicago hip-hop heritage museum <laughs> yes and so we created a logo and my guy Ronnie Boykin, he designed the logo with awesome. the with the stars that re that resemble the Chicago flag, but yeah. each element of breaking, okay. MC and graffiti, and DJing is in the logos. Awesome! So you guys also sell merchandise there. I mean, we have merchandise available to sell that you can get on the website at uh, www.chhhm.com, and. There's some merchandise there, but you can actually order some online and get what you want your color. This is also a campaign of ours at the museum, uh, the Hip Hop Can Heal project. We're out here trying to change the frequencies of what's on the radio right now. Um, we think it's important to remind people that hip hop was a tool to be a anti-violence mechanism and what you hear on the radio is not hip hop. And that's what we basically call rap music. And rap music, like my teacher uh, Cassius D would say, is rap artists pretending. Ah. And so okay. uh, we want to show that hip hop saved our life. And so we want to remind people through the frequencies that we can change and save lives still through hip hop. And so 
hiphopcanheal.com is also one of our projects and we got free music there available all non-killing non-hurting just love music you know what i mean so that's amazing you know and and that's beautiful honestly hip-hop is definitely not dead and obviously that's great that you guys are giving recognition to all of the chicago artists all of chicago's hip-hop and all of chicago's uh music you know and that good stuff you know that positive uh music stuff that's gonna lift you up when you're that's down not to say that there's not like representation of some of the younger artists that's there in the museum as well because some of those guys had like there's Chief Keef in the museum and people are like, why is Chief Keef in the museum? And I was like, Chief Keef is the embodiment of what hip hop is. Mm -hmm. Hip hop is taking nothing and making something out of it. And that's definitely what Chief Keef did. And for us to be hypocritical and, and try to take that away from him, even though we don't all agree with the message that he created, yeah. that would not be uh, hip hop. You know what I mean? So. Uh, Chief Keith is also in the museum. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, so, of course. Yeah. He's a, he's got his own story of hip hop. Yes, he has his own story, and so uh, again, we we alternate every year. So some people make the museum one year and might not be in there the next year. Um, we're still trying to earn funds to get us our own location, so that we can have more space to show all of it. But there's space that I mean, we we had to put up stuff just to do 50 years, and being that we did 50 years. There's a wall that Raymond Boyd took pictures of. Raymond Boyd is a, a Chicago photographer that took pictures of some of the oldest rappers in, in the world that came to Chicago and performed at the United Center, the Pavilion, and all those places that was like the Rap Fest where uh, Run DMC first came, the Fat Boys and Kumo D, I mean, and Curtis Blow and all those guys came to the first year and Raymond Boyd took a bunch of these pictures and those pictures are on the wall at the museum and that's the only time that we've ever had New York artists on our wall is because Raymond Boyd took the pictures and they was here in Chicago he's a Chicago photographer and those artists were here in Chicago we just had uh, uh, Chuck D come in from Public Enemy and sign his picture on the wall and so we hope that a lot of these artists will come in. Yeah. We hope a lot of these artists will come in and sign the picture as well. Mm -hmm. And then we can make a, a display of those as well in the bigger museum when we get a chance to get a bigger museum. So yeah, it's all it's all love and cute right now, you know? Yeah, no, but it's a good size, you know? I mean, especially to actually uh, have all that pro well, product, right? For photos, art. The souvenirs and collector's items. We got magazines from 1987 uh, and 86 in the museum, and Out, check it out. I mean, tell our viewers where they can go find it at. Oh, you, again, you can find us online at www.chhhm.com, Chicago Hip Hop Heritage Museum.com, okay. or you can find us at our our uh, our, our our our. Yeah, if I want to go on a date, or if I want to take my family or my friends, where can I go? 4505 South Indiana. You can also make appointments online. You pay for one person online, and the rest of the people pay for a guided tour when they show up. So we only make you lock in with the one person when you're online, and then you can bring up to 10 people with you on the day of, and then pay the difference there. Other than that, we look for you to make group tours, and you just call me or email me at capturedemotions.com. I mean, capturedemotions at gmail.com, and that's captured emotions with a K. Captured the emotions s, s at gmail.com. So, yes. Amazing. Thank you so much, Kingdom Rock. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to let our viewers know? What's going on with Kingdom Rock? Uh no, nah, just keep in tune. We got a um we got a hip hop unplug uh, that you can find us on at the website. We do those at the museum through the Bronzeville Podcast Studio that we rent out at the museum. Um, tomorrow we got a hip hop artist coming in, and he's gonna do his podcast interview, and then he's gonna do uh, a live performance there as well. And we do this every other Thursday there at the museum. 
I also do Kingdom Rocks Corner. You can look us up all on YouTube. All this stuff is already out there on YouTube or the website, again, at chhhm.com. Amazing. Thank you, Kingdom Rock. And they could find you exactly on the website, right? Or at the email, I am Kingdom Rock on all your social platforms. I am Kingdom Rock. I am Kingdom Rock with a C. Yeah, well, I am Kingdom Rock is just the name on everything on the Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, on Instagram, on YouTube. Well, yes, all on YouTube. I am Kingdom Rock, and uh, also Chicago Hip Hop Heritage Museum on Facebook and Instagram and uh, YouTube. So we're 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 there, and you can find us all there. Chicago Hip Hop Heritage Museum, all spelled out at Facebook at uh, Instagram and at YouTube. Yep. Catch us on all platforms. Yep. Thank you so much for watching. He was Kingdom Rock. I'm Stephanie Marie, BFF, and this is Urban Grind TV. Thank you so much. How y'all doing? My name is Kingdom Rock from Chicago Hip Hop Heritage Museum, and you're watching Urban Grind TV.